sir. No, I don't. Okay, well stand right there and get the fan. So you're not gonna get the fan in the picture. Can't get the angle of the fan there? Well, you can't. You can just see us. Uh, okay, well that's all we need. You see us sticking out. That's it. That's you all we need. That's it. it. That's Cut. it. Okay. Come on. You know what your new name is? Frosty. Frosty Snow Woman. We got it all wired up, okay? Great. It's springtime and Minnie's cold. It's 40 degrees outside, Pete. 40 degrees? Put your shorts on and go outside then. It's 53 it's degrees in my shop right now. If you're just what are you doing? If you're just going to fucking argue, then I'm going to put the fucking I'm not arguing, all right? Turn it back on. Let's go. Come on. All right, so after extensive uh, relapse, um, I actually bought two of these motors at the same time. Do you remember that? Yeah, I do. Okay, so I buy two motors, the same exact motors, the same exact price. They were like, what, 550 fucking dollars each or some yeah, shit? Yeah, expensive. Yeah. Okay, so I had a plan for both of them. Of course, this is kind of the plan I had. Not exactly this plan, but it was close to that plan. So I get one motor, I get one fan, and it's 120 only. That's it. It's a 120 fan. Take it or leave it. Fuck off. I get this one, and it's a high voltage, low voltage, which means it's 120 or 220. 110 or 220. Now, why the hell did they do that? I'm not hooking this up to 220. I ain't got no intentions of hooking this up to 220. I guess they did it just to intentionally piss you off, Pete. What the fuck? Sometimes, I figured it out, okay? You're, if you're, you let me finish, please. So asinine and such, um, such I wanted stupid. to make sure that the low voltage was actually too, because it doesn't say 110 or 220, because the motor says made in China on it. Of course. Okay, so when you get this shit and it says made in China, they got their own lingo and language on there. Because if you get an American made motor, it'll say 120, 110, 220. It doesn't say low voltage, high voltage. Son of a bitch. Now oh, I'm fucking dropping everything. It's because you got the devil sitting on your shoulder. <sighs> So, um, just went and bought that. Fifty fucking dollars, man. And you're probably not even going to okay. use it, are you? Oh, I've already used it. All the way from that end of this box over to here. But then I thought, you know what? Why should I have this extension cord on here when I'm moving it around? Then i got to worry about, you know, rolling this cord up like this and then putting a hanger there, and, you know. So I went ahead and made a short one. We'll just hook a fucking cord to it. Um, we got it wired up. I got to get all this stuff off because, man, this thing might be like an airplane. I don't know what it's going to do. But I'm going to get all my tools off of it. I'm going to stack them on my table over there. And hopefully we got this thing hooked up right. today? I guess not. You ain't saying nothing? That's because you ain't doing to... nothing. You're just standing there getting mad at me for no reason. I haven't done nothing. Yeah, and you're nothing. trying to make me mad, so I, I haven't done nothing. I'm not taking the bait. I hope 
know if you hurt your finger. Ooh, that hurt. How'd you know? That's what you get. <laughs> Me the body shop girl. Does everybody love Me the body Devil shop? Sitting on your shoulder. Does everybody? Like does everybody love Mitty the body shop girl? I'm screaming at home for no freaking reason. Mitty the body shop girl. Everybody loves her. They don't love me. Except they send me hate. They send me hate mail. Yeah. Okay. They send me. Let me show you something. Can I show you something? No, Pete. You said ten minutes. Hang on a minute, please. So, uh, over, I'm over here now, please. So anyway, Mitty gets mail from all her beautiful fans and they say they love her and they send her hearts and candy and flowers and and all kinds of books and all kinds of stuff look what my friend Pete gets um see what I get right here what does that say okay see that it says professional idiot okay all right that's what I get but look here we're not we're not done we're gonna start calling Pete we're not done. Because when I got the when I got the box, look what it is. It says the Don. I think it was a cigar. I thought it was a cigar. Can I open it? But look what I get in the mail. Look what I get. Okay, a big chocolate wanger. Okay. I get a chocolate wanger. Okay. So what I did. I, now hold on. Let me finish it out because I'm going to tell you comically smart my friend Pete is okay so I was pissed off about it and I'm thinking what a jerk off piece of shit to actually says it and I went ahead and did this okay it says no dickheads here wrong address so I was gonna send it back and then I thought you know what I can use this in my videos and make AdSense money with it because people will get a kick out of it they will laugh so I'm gonna go ahead and keep it so, I'm going to ask you this. Who's the real professional fucking idiot here? Me? For using the Don in my videos? Or is it the guy that actually spent $29 plus shipping and handling and taxes to send it to me? And I'll let you figure that out. wasn't brave enough to tell us. Wasn't brave enough, enough to come to my fucking face. Okay? And tell me that I'm a fucking dickhead, bitch. Told him, but that's all right. We don't care. Okay. Um. We got this wired up. If anyone wants to kind of shine the camera in there, we'll I'm gonna go ahead and be honest with you. After contemplating and all the shit that I did to this and how heavy. This is overkill. This is an overkill situation. If you're making a home garage, you don't need this. I still got to do a couple modifications to it before I can use it. Um, we're not going to go through that scenario. It's just minor shit. But the real deal is, is if you want to make an exhaust fan for your home paint booth, get a fucking piece of plywood. Make it the width of your shop or whatever. Get a fucking stand-up exhaust fan. Or maybe a one down here. Put it in front of your door and fucking paint. So what I did, if many can, I went ahead and welded wa uh, washers. And thank God that many found those because I was ready to go buy some, but she found them in all my junk. So um, I welded washers and then I ran the wire through the washers to hold it. And then I also I wire tied it because I don't want the vibration to cut the wire housing. Uh, that's 12 by 3. That's 12 3 wire. Uh, we came over to the motor, and you can see where I wired it up, and I also wire tied it onto that fan housing so it wouldn't be blowing around and shorting out. So we got everything hooked up. Let's go ahead and see if everything works.
So what I did is I wired that up. We went over here. We put a real short cord on it. That way it's easier to move around. Does that make sense to you? Yeah, yeah. Okay, and then we'll take an extension cord, something like this one here that we're going to use for an example. All right, and uh, we also have an extension cord that's got a ground on it, not just the two prongs. Um, so I'm going to wire this up. Now this switch here is a variable speed switch. I think I've already explained that for, for everybody that tuned in to see the Don. Bitch, bitch faster, bitch, bitch faster. Uh, you know, we're looking at a variable speed switch. Um, this is a 6 amp switch. I believe the fan said it was 5 amps or 4.2 or something like that. You know, with Chinese fucking directions on there. How do I know? Can you tell me that? I don't know. I don't know. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug it in. Now, the only reason it won't work that I can come up with is these two wires might be backwards. But it doesn't say anything here about um, power and source. So hopefully it's okay. One other thing, this is a solid state switch. Um, let's go ahead and plug it in and we'll see what it does. I'm going to turn it off. Okay, so it's off right now. Are you ready? It's either off or all the way maximum. Are you ready, Mini the Body yeah. Shop? It's either off or all the way maximum high. Are you, all, all, are you ready? Yeah. Okay, here we go. Come on over here. Okay, I'm going to plug it in now. I got, I'm plugging it into a breaker type uh, safety switch here, so if something happens. Okay, here we go. Bam! Son of a bitch. <laughs> scared the crap out of me. I jumped, almost dropped the freaking camera. Did that scare you? <laughs> yes, you did. Okay. <laughs> All right, are we ready? You don't see it on the camera. Are because, we ready? Yeah, go ahead. Okay, on. if you just stand over there, that way you're kind of out of the way, you know, and you can kind of put the camera way up here and we'll see if it's going to suck me into it. I don't know, but, I, you know, that's a big fan, so. It might suck me. It's like going to be like a hurricane. Suck me okay, in. so it's all hooked up. Can you see me in the camera with it? Yeah, I can see you. Okay, let's go ahead and try it. Anymore. Here we go. It says 115 volts. So? Well, why does the motor say high voltage, low voltage? I'm going to turn this camera off, okay, Pete? I'm asking a question, okay? We got work to do to our fan. It's not done, but the fan works. I'm not happy with it. I think the motherfucker ain't sucking like it should. Okay, but you know, we got it. Now I gotta rig up these to make these work right. I can't believe they got these shutters on here and they only open like that much. We need that bitch open way up there just like that. Look. What a fucking joke. I gotta go. Maybe I can take the shutters off and open them where they're pointing up. Well, they won't open then. Then they'll always stay open, right? Because they'll fall down. Should have put the little fan in there. Should have put the big one in there. Okay, you can turn it off. I gotta finish this up. Thank you. Mini the body shop, girl. Thanks. There you go. Once again, Pete never satisfied with anything or any anything at all. Ever. Never satisfied. Never. Bitch, 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 bitch.
Well, it's been like a week or more, and Pete's been working on this stupid box that he could have had done in a day, but he's been screwing around, screwing around, screwing around. Yeah, let's go see what he's done. Maybe he's finally done with it. Well, are you done with the box finally? I mean, you know, we got a lot of work that needs to be done. I know we got a lot of work. Without the box, we ain't doing no work that needs to be done. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, if you'd have done it the way I told you, it would have been a, a done deal six months ago. Oh, God. I got my wheels in. Did you oh, see those? Oh, wow, Did you see them? Look, watch this. What do you think well, of that? imagine that. <laughs> you can move it back Watch, yourself, watch this, watch this. Kicks it right down. Huh? What wow. are you thinking of that? I got my variable speed hooked up. We're going to check that out. But look over here what I got. Okay. Do you see what I did here? This was an all day job. All day. Yeah, I hear you. It was an all day job. I know. Making this frame, putting this in there to protect yourself so you don't chop the finger off. All I had to do is put some chicken wire on there. Yeah, well, we didn't put chicken wire on there. Okay, I made it professionally. Now, this, you're probably asking yourself, what is that? Right? A waste of time. I'm going to show you what it is. You flip it out like this. You fold it down like that. Then you fold that one out. And then you come over here and you fold that one out. And then, if you look on the side, there's a little bolt in the washer right here. Let me get it in there. in there. Hold on a minute. I know it works because I already did it several times. So you got to get it in here like this. There's that one. Then you come over here, see? And it's supposed to go behind the washer, but you know, we're not really getting perfect on it. Okay, here we go. This one here should go behind the washer. There it is right there. All right, you know what that is? Huh? Not okay, if you remember, the louvers were on it, right? Yeah. When the louvers were on it, they were only opening like this, which meant what? They didn't open all the way. The exhaust is going to go hitting on the floor. Do I want my concrete outside painted different colors? Do I want that done? Who knows? No. So what this is, this is a catch. Why is he screaming? All right, and this is a catch, mad. and what we do with that. Why is he mad all of a sudden? It, it, it's beyond me. He... Yeah. I paid 500 bucks for this van. Look where the louvers are. Look at them. Yeah. The louvers aren't working. Well, you should have bought a better fan. Took me all day to make this damn thing. What this is, this is an air catch. What happens when that wind blows, it's going to hit there and bounce up here. And I don't have to worry about my concrete being painted. One more thing by removing the louvers. It gave me more horsepower. Are you ready? Watch this. Look what's going on. Uh, you know, look, look what's going on. I'm not asking many of the body shop girl to help me. I'm not calling around the phone saying I need your help out here. No, he never says I'm that doing nice. all this by myself. He never look says that. it that nice and it's generally you see that? Never by himself. I'm, I'm not asking, hey, help sweet help thing, baby something. cakes, come on outside. Yeah. I love you. Yeah. I'm not saying that today. He never says it that way. It's always get the fuck out of here right fucking now. <laughs> I'm not saying that today, but I don't talk like that to you. Yeah, he does. Okay? All the time. We got these wheels. The I paid thirty-seven dollars for them. Can I show them those wheels? Yeah. They're collapsible wheels. I got them on Amazon for thirty-seven bucks. Make sure you watch the DIY special on that. Um, everybody's trying to figure out how they can move their stuff around and still be able to sit on the floor. If I flip these up, it's going to set it down on the floor. But I got the wheels on the outside so it'll fit inside the frame. Do you see what I'm saying? Remember we had trouble with that? 
Yeah, I'm glad you thought of that. Okay. Let me just ask though, this um this thing that's supposed to save you from getting paint on the ground? Yeah, what about it? Aren't the filters supposed to keep paint from going all the way through? There still might be a little bit of dryness going out there. The filters catch the uh, contaminants, okay? Oh, they don't catch the paint? Okay, what we're going to do... Kind of <laughs> <laughs> like the masks catch the virus. Yeah, okay. I'm going to go ahead and plug this in. We're going to turn it on. I'm going to show you how nice it works. So, we're going to start over here. Come on over here. Let me show. I put the variable speed on here. Um, I think everybody already saw that, but it looks really professional. I was going to go ahead and make one long extension cord. I decided not to. Um, that way it's easier to move around. Blah, blah, blah. This, that, and the other. So, we turn it on, and look what's going on here. You hear that? sucking too much paint out because remember we talked about that made in the body shop girl yeah. what I do is I take my hand right here come on over here and I can turn that down to low all the way now look what we got you see what we got here look at here it's still blowing I feel it it's feeling good baby and everything's working like peaches. <laughs> what do you think of that, bitch? So we got our valuable speed. Touch of a hand. Look at that. I just turned it up to medium, Minnie. Yeah. I just turned it up to medium. Wow. Watch. Watch this. I just turned it up to high. Wow. I got a lot of dust in my paint booth. We're blowing it out. You see what I'm saying? I got to get that stuff out of my paint booth. Because we've been sanding in there. I want to clean it out. I got it on high. Guess what it's doing? Cleaning it out. <laughs> We're done working. I'm going to turn it off. See how easy that was? Huh? Yeah. Okay. Do I like the paint? No, I don't. But it's painted. Fuck it. Um, we got our box made. You can see that. Came out really, really nice. I like it. We got the flip wheels on it. Did I mention those? Yeah. Okay. And we got the box. The only thing I got to do is trim this edge right here. When I made the box, it was perfectly square. The floor is unlevel outside. I had to adjust the box to fit. So I'll have to cut this off. Um, and the only reason I'm going to cut this off, I really don't need to, but I'm afraid that uh, this is a danger point right here. So we'll go ahead and make that look pretty. Other than that, my paint boot's on its way to success. Hold on, what happened? Okay, there it is. Okay. Don't do that to me, please. I gotta grind down a screw. The wheel right there is hitting that screw. Did you see that? I need to take that screw and grind it down. Anything you gotta say? No, not a thing. What's going on today? What are you doing? Nothing, I don't feel good. I think we ought to go to Grand Junction today. We got to go to Grand Junction. You want to go to Grand Junction? You can no, sit in the car. Can go. Come here, man. What's wrong? What's going on? I don't feel good, Pete. You know what I happened don't to your finger? Good. Let's see. Don't touch it. I'm not. So they cut the thing out of your finger, and yeah. you got three stitches in there. All right. Well, we hope you get better, man. The body shop girl. We need your help out here. Well, put the camera we miss down. You. Let's fucking go then. Where are we going? You said you needed my help. That's no, I said we, done. we, me, myself, we need your help out here. We got a lot of cars to sand. Get well, Minnie the Body Shop Girl. We'll see you later. Take it easy, girlfriend. Take it easy, girlfriend. See you later. See you later. Baby cakes. Yeah, well, you gotta love Minnie the Body Shop Girl. Back to the uh, situation we got. This came out awesome. 
I'm happy with it. The only thing I got to do now, come on in here. So the only thing I got to do now is if you look at our windows right here, these are going to be our intakes. So I got to make a cover for this window. I'm going to make some little ledges here where I'll be able to slide the filter in there. And then I'm going to probably put, if I could put two in, I'm going to put two, but I'm gonna, probably only going to be putting one intake filter. Does that make sense, Minnie? And then what I'll do, I'll be able to open this window right here just like this. And then depending on the weather or how much intake I need, I'll be able to adjust my airflow. See what I'm saying? So I think that'll work out nice. What are you thinking? Yep. And then when I'm all done painting, I'll be able to slide those things off one way or the other here. Slide them off, put them in storage, and uh, you know, do work inside my paint booth if I need to do work in here. This is Pete, my friend Pete, your friend Pete, building the paint booth. And basically, uh, going overboard on it. I'm gonna be honest with you. Um, have I spent a lot of money on it? Probably so. But I like to do things uh, professional and I usually overdo stuff, am I right, Benny? When I do stuff, but at least when it's done, it's done right. You and have everybody two. is happy. Okay, that's all, folks. Thank you very much for. Uh, two brand new okay. Yeah. Thanks. I gotta go. I'll see you two. later. Two. See he could have bought two brand new. Two brand new and right. installed. Two. 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 Yeah. It's raining. Let's go. We're not gonna go razor today. He never listens to me, does he? Okay. Never, never, never. See you later. Bye. Bastard bitch, 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 b